everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about app timers, and app timers is a part of digital well-being. Now on the bottom over here you can see different applications and then also their little timers per each app. And that's one of the nice things you're able to do is you can put in whatever timer you want from one minute up to several hours per any application on your phone. So this is something that I like to do just because I don't want to be on my phone all day. I am somebody who is at home all day watching toddlers, going outside, going on walks, sitting in the living room, playing around, but I do find myself on the phone a little bit more than what I want. You know, as you're shooting YouTube videos, videos all day about Samsung phones, sometimes you don't want to use them. So over here on Facebook, I have a timer set up for just 30 minutes. I'm not much of a Facebook user. I do upload a few photos here and there. Now on Twitter, I do like Twitter for reading the news and seeing what's going on live. And then also with Instagram, it's kind of fun to watch, you know, some, some Instagram reels and some of the entertainment and photos, things like that. So I put that one for an hour. Now my son on his phone, I did set up some app timers as well. So this way he doesn't use too much time you know, four different applications without putting them into a parental control type situation. Cause I don't want to limit the phone that much, just enough that he's still healthy going outside and playing. Now, I believe the user interface of app timers has changed a little bit over the years. So I don't know if this is something new for Samsung One UI 3 or 3.1 or 3.1.1, but now if there's any application that has the app timers set up, there's small little icons letting you know that those have timers on them. Also, in your recent applications tray on the bottom, you can see your app timer showing up on the bottom. When you tap on that, it takes you into basically that application for how much you've used it in terms of screen time, notifications, how many times you've opened it, things like that, which is pretty cool to kind of see, you know, just how much you use some of these applications. So all you'd have to do to turn this on is go into the settings on the very top right hand side. You're going to scroll down to where it says digital well-being. When you tap on that, you're going to scroll down just a little bit more and you can see the app timers location. You can see that there's quite a few of them set up, just about four applications. Now on the top over here, you can categorize them. You can put them by name. You can put it by screen time. So if you've been using your phone for several hours today, this is kind of your normal usage day. You'd be able to take a look at which applications you use the most so far in that day. And if there's some of them that you know that you're putting in more time than you should, you'd be able to just simply tap on that little time piece. You can change it per however many minutes that you'd like to, to restrict it or basically have a timer. So this way the application will stop for the day. And then the following day, you'd be able to start all over with that timer. So if you put this one for an hour, you hit on done. So now this one's set up for an hour. It shows that I've been using for five minutes out of the hour. Now, if you have other timers set up and you want to view them in the order of the length of the timer. So for me, YouTube is three hours. Twitter is two. Google, we just made it for one hour. Instagram's an hour, Facebook is 30 minutes. And if there's any of these other ones that you would put, you know, want to put on for just like five minutes, you could. It's one of those nice things that, you know, again, should ho hopefully kind of get you off of your cell phone and kind of live real life. So up over here, you can see uh, the screen time again, notifications, and then also times opened. So it's one of those nice things that you're kind of able to, you know, set up, take a look at. Um, here's some of the goals for digital well being. There's like bedtime mode, there's focus mode, things like that. Uh, screen time in terms of goals, you can set a goal for how much screen time you would like to use. Now for me, I just kind of noticed that going through digital well-being, the main thing to take a look at is app timers, because if you throw a timer on it, you're going to kind of subconsciously keep track of it as well as you kind of watch some of those minutes change, you know, inside of this recent app menu, because this is kind of where I see everything. And then also too, sometimes when you take a look at your applications, you notice that little thing there again hinting at you that you shouldn't be using this application as much but i hope you guys have appreciated this video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later